church. Good morning. Today we will be thinking about the kingdom of heaven. I would like to talk to you about the mustard seed parable. I don't, really, I don't know if you have seen the mustard seed before. This is a really small seed and we can hardly imagine that a small, that a small seed can grow into something big. Did you know that a mustard seed can grow nearly to three to four meters? When Jesus told the mustard seed parable, there were lots of tree, mustard trees around them where birds nested and rested on them. In that time, they used mustard for different things. The leaves to make food, they grind major seeds to put in food to make it tasty. They also used them to make medicine. I don't know if you have an experience um, where you underestimated some small things. Well, I have one. One day, my mum bought me a, a, a pack of electronic toys, which you could build yourself. When I opened the box, I saw a really good model, because there were six in the pack, so you could build six. But I um, decided to build like, one interesting one, which I found interesting and fun. When I started to build it, and I got the bits out, um, and when I got near the end, there was a really, really small piece, and I thought that they put it in the box by mistake. But if you put it on the instruction sheet, then obviously I had to put it on the, I had to put it on the propeller. In the end, it turned out that that small um, piece was to make the propeller work. This is the same as the kingdom of heaven, that a small seed can grow into something, to a gigantic tree and birds will rest and re nest on it. Jesus' purpose to tell this parable was that the Jewish people to understand that his kingdom will increase greatly. So that they don't look at the small beginnings of his kingdom, because his kingdom will grow greatly. The priests thought that Jesus was just an ordinary man, because because um, that they were waiting for a real king that would save them from the Romans. Not just a man going and preaching everywhere he goes. But Jesus' kingdom is somehow different. Not like, not like the other world kingdoms. Because just remember, where is the Roman Empire now? Or the Greek Empire? Or the Babylonian Empire? Or the Persian Empire? Where are they? They are no more. But the kingdom of heaven is still there. The gospel is preaching everywhere in the world. Maybe our faith is just like a small mustard seed. But if you come to Jesus every day and you read the Bible and pray, then our faith will be growing. My wish is that we, choose, uh, is that we build a relationship with God today so we, so we can be ready for his kingdom. Because you know, in heaven, there will be three surprises. The first one is for the first one is that the people we thought will be there in heaven with us will not be there. The second is that the people we thought will actually be there in heaven with us will not actually be there. And the third one is the biggest surprise of all that I am there. My prayer is today is that we choose God's kingdom so when he comes 